Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to promote on ref content using ClickMagic campaigns. Now, I am assuming that you already created your ClickMagic campaigns by creating your link, your UTM powered link, and adding the code to your pages. You cannot proceed without that. So if you haven't done that, make sure to check out my video. I'll put a link above and do that first because we can't proceed without it. That being said, the process is the same as we did for Microsoft ads, Google and Facebook ads. So let's head in there and let's set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is click on this little wrench icon and click on URL builder inside of click magic. Now we can go to URL manager and we can select a link that we already created. In this case, we created Facebook, Microsoft and Google. We didn't create ref content. So let's go ahead and quickly create a ref content link and add it to ref content. I'll show you where. Okay. So let's go back. This is our landing page. So we're going to copy that landing page, go back into click magic, paste the landing page here. And for the source here, this is the traffic source. Where are you getting the source from? Well, or traffic from, well, it's ref content in this case. Okay. Now UTM medium, are you paying per click or what specific department are you promoting in? Now ref content is only native ads. So we can just say native here or display. Um, we can say display just because Google ads has display. So that way we can compare, right? Ideally we want to have, uh, the same name for all of these, depending on the exact uh, product and the exact type you're doing. Uh, I strongly suggest, by the way, you check out this video. If you click here to see some best practices when using these, cause there are a few. Okay. Uh, so again, as I mentioned in my other videos, these three are necessary. These two are optional. So let's write one more thing here. What we did was custom keto diet. So here's what I mean by consistency. I used custom keto diet, this exact uh, phrase with the dashes for Microsoft, Facebook, and Google. Okay. So if, if this is the campaign you're using here, you want to use that exact same name so that later on in click magic, you can filter by custom keto diet and you won't have 10 different variations of custom keto diet. One with a dash, one without a dash, one capital letter, one lowercase. So make it all consistent. Um, now these are optional. I do have a website with some ref content tokens. Okay. So these tokens will be generated and populated automatically. So instead of, for example, if we use country, instead of it saying country, it's going to give us the actual country that the visitor, uh, that the visitor landed on the visitor was from. Okay. We can use these options like advanced targets will show the exact target that resulted in a click. So for example, if we want to say target, we can say copy. We can paste it here. Uh, okay. So it doesn't allow us to paste anything with the squiggly brackets. So we'll just have to do like that. And I already have it added here, so I can just go down and select it, or you can just type it in manually. Either way is fine. UTM content for this one, we want to specify an exact ad, like what is our ad about? What is the headline? What is the image? So we have a little better understanding without having to go back into ref content. That's the idea with click magic. We want to have everything here. Okay. Um, now, what was I going to say? The other thing is make sure you don't use things with IDs like over here, account ID, boost campaign ID, content ID, widget ID. Okay. This is tricky because if you use these and you have a bunch of ads and a bunch of clicks in click magic, you're going to see a bunch of different IDs. So again, make sure to check this video out. It gives you examples, but you're going to have like 50 IDs, like one, two, three, nine, two, three, zero, eight, nine, three, zero, two. And what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to you unless you actually log back into ref content and check that out. So try to avoid anything that has ID in there. Okay. So that's why we're using advanced targets is going to give you the exact name. That's fine but try to avoid things with IDs. Okay. So that being said, um, let's add something here. Let's say add, and then we're going to go in and change it, but we want to be descriptive to indicate what the set is. Okay. So now we've done that. We can click save. And if we go to URL manager, we should see this link here. Okay. So we can use this without having to redo it. So we'll copy it now in ref content. Uh, I'm assuming you already have a campaign and you're just wondering where to add it. If you're not sure how to even get started with ref content, make sure to check out my video on ref content. Again, I'll put the link above and it'll take you from start to finish because I'm assuming you already created an ad because then this is going to be a 30 minute video, right? Showing you how to do everything from scratch. So once you do that, you create an ad, you go into manage content. And the first thing it asks you is the, for the destination URL, simple enough. You paste that URL that you copied. That's it. Okay. You can change this here to be whatever you want. You can change this and Hey, these options don't even have to be like that. You can have the campaign name over here, or you could use the advanced targets over here if you want to, but 
I'm trying to keep these things consistent. And for Google, Microsoft, and Facebook, I always had my campaign name here. I always had my kind of token here. I always had my ab description here, ad description. Did I say ab? Uh, for the medium, I always had display, search, and the UTM source, I always had the exact title, okay? So you wanna maintain consistency, but it doesn't have to be this exact way that I showed you is what I'm trying to tell you, okay? Once you do that, you click on submit, it's gonna ask you to do these things. Now, we're gonna add a headline, and it's, you know, it gives us variable options here. So if you forget, you can use these. And for, for example, instead of um, advanced targets, I can use, let's say, for example, state, right? And I can add state. Again, these are widget IDs and stuff like that. You wanna to try to avoid it, but you can use it if you want to. So you could say, for example, boost ID, okay? And that's gonna give you the ID of the boost that got you the click. But we're gonna to stick to advanced targets. Uh, so for the headline, this is like a keto diet product, right? So we can say, get instant access to, what is this, what are we doing? To your custom keto diet plan. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because again, I'm assuming you already created the ad. That's not, this isn't a, a um, video on how to create an ad, uh, but let's suppose that's our headline. So what we would wanna do here is we wanna indicate how this ad is different from our, our other ad copies, right? Let's suppose we're split testing. We wanna be able to see this data in click magic and see how is this ad different, you know, because this ad got 20 sales or another ad got 15 sales. Well, how is this better? So. For here, we wanna say, you know, for example, it's get instant access. Get instant access, okay? So this is our ad, this is how our ad's different because for example, let's suppose our other ads don't have this headline. They have something like your custom keto diet for free or click here to get your custom keto diet. So that's the only difference, for example. So that's why we have this here to indicate what this is, okay? So once we have that, for example, let's copy, we can click submit and that is it, okay? That's all for how to promote this on ref content. But just to show you, if I, paste this link here and we go back to click magic we click on go back let's click on go back and let's um, we can now select from the options here so we can refresh and select we can say hey how many clicks did we get from ref content well we got one that we just clicked on right how many clicks from display well one now we can go back select any and we can say well hey how many sales did we get for this campaign custom keto diet well we got one right in total uh, and then we can say, how many did we get by search or by display, right? Well, we got the one click from display. And then you can also filter here. So here it says advanced targets. Keep in mind when someone actually clicks on your ad, this will be replaced with the actual target, the actual location of where your ad was shown. It's not gonna say advanced targets. Uh, here, you know, we have our ads. So here it says get instant access. So if we make a sale, we know, hey, how is this ad doing? Well, it got one visitor, no sale. Let's look at another ad. How is this ad doing? Oh, this ad didn't even get any clicks, okay, whatever. Um, and it looks like our, now we can refresh everything. It looks like we got one sale, one, one action from here that isn't related to these ads at all, okay? So we can do the math and see if this ad is working, right? For example, but that is it. That is how you promote on ref content using ClickMagic campaigns. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this video was helpful for you or what I missed or what you want me to make another video on and I'll be happy to help you out there. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like and subscribe so I know which direction to go to uh, so I can make more content just like this. Thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.